Hey, ¿qué tal? Y bienvenidos de nuevo a Domina tu Mente. En el video de hoy escucharemos a Neville en este pequeño clip de una de sus lecturas titulada Poder de 1968. Y en ella nos enseña a confiar en el Dios interior que habita en todos nosotros, en vez de pedir y adorar a un Dios externo. También nos cuenta cómo sus mejores estudiantes fueron personas que lo desafiaban desde la audiencia y lo cuestionaban, diciéndole, Neville, creo que estás loco. Ponían a prueba su enseñanza y se volvían sus mejores estudiantes. Y luego había otros que desde un inicio le decían, Neville, creo que eres maravilloso, y nunca más regresaban. Este sin duda es un gran audio original que espero que sea de su agrado. Ah, y si lo quieres mejor escuchar en español, tienes el link en la caja de descripción. Because the whole vast world is about myself. You aren't going to be into anyone. But you can't deny that you're still part of it. You want something. So you want it. When you assume that you have it. And then let things happen. They take it takes a thousand or ten thousand to the burn. But that's not true. Then they'll be used. And they'll be used either knowingly or unknowingly. But if I have to wait for this, it's God's will, I'll wait for that. I'll wait for it. Is it God's will that I should pay rent? Or is it the best? Or then if I will wait and say that I was 771, because maybe some friend will say, you know, you need that experience. You need to learn. You need all this thing to be fired up. I can't. I can learn the same lesson twice. I've got that. When I thought God's will, and I allowed him to do it, I kept on and did nothing, then came the end of the month, and you can't pay rent. And then he said, no, I can't tell you any longer. How would you know? I've had it. But when he forgot to tell me what to do, he never told me. I had to do it. And so when I got married, I knew I had an obligation to write. I had another one. Then came a child, and I had another one. It's my okay. I have some external being tell me now, no, I know what I'm going to do. But it's still all right. Can you make knowledge? You want to, all right. That is my obligation to put a good knowledge, which I did. And if I went into some external being, it's up to me to say, well, maybe she shouldn't go. It'd be easier. I'm passing the buck. The whole past world passes the buck. No, my dear, make your decision. Even if you're wrong, make a decision. Or you don't matter. But to be undecided so that you will not make a mistake. Well, you know that story, that story in, in the Revelation? Would that you were hot or cold, but because you're neither hot nor cold, and that you are lukewarm, I spew you out. You can make coffee or tea with lukewarm water. Let it be hot or cold. Let man be intent. You know, the people who are toasty, and they never I think you're nothing. I think you're as insane as they come. Oh, I've been told that time like that. Those who really oppose me become my best students. But those who come and say, oh, I think you're wonderful. First time they say, I think you're wonderful. Never come back. <laughs> But those who try to get married in place, I tell them, I in 49th in New York City, I came on two ladies. One lady was shown the other some friend. All of New York City. And a big picture of mine was in the window with my books. And one said, you know who he is? And she said, no. But he is the mad mystic of 48 feet. Oh, you've got to go and hear it. You've got to go and hear it. He's as mad as a heaven. We all go to hear it because he's so mad. It's fun, she said. It's fun. Don't you sit down, cost you nothing. In those days, it's all a voluntary effort on their part. And so a thousand people would come three times a week to hear the mad mystic of 48 feet. But those who heard and thought, now, he really is special. And they would challenge him from the back of the audience. They became the students. Those like the ones on the street who just don't the mad mystic, don't have fun, they never became students. There we are, their little icon. He never answered them, but never had to pray anyway. In hope.
My dear, I believe in being a specific on campus. I just knew what I wanted so often on certain things and wanted it in detail and got it. If we cannot be that specific, oh my goodness, take an end, but overall end. But if we are specific, God is very desperate. 